Hello, everybody. It's Wednesday morning. Thank you again for joining us for another I Am a Triangle Live. We are here today with a special guest, Claudia Romo Edelman, and she is one of the co-hosts of the new podcast, Global Goals Cast, which is launching today. Yes, we just launched, and I congratulate you for saying the name correctly. Everybody has like some like global universal cast. <laughs> <laughs> well, Global Goals Cast, it's a perfect name because it combines podcast with the global goals. Exactly. That's yeah. exactly right. And yeah. we're excited, and I love that you're um, that to be in I Am Triangle and uh, to be the first uh, person that I speak to this morning after we're launched. We've been working for so hard to get to this place. So I'm delighted to be able to talk to you. Yeah, we're so glad to have you and we're excited to see where this goes. One of the things that we feel so strongly inside the I'm a Triangle community is that we need to be able to impact the world that we live in. Um, there are 17 global goals. Is that correct that the UN yeah. has identified? We will put a link to those global goals if you want to learn more about them. But Claudia, tell us a little bit about maybe one or two of your favorite gl global goals or the ones that are most meaningful to you. Right. And if you struggle saying global goals, <laughs> welcome to the sustainable development goals. So, there you so go. these are, this is my favorite plan. And I, you know, like I come from being open and accepting that I am anal and compulsive and obsessive and I love plans, I love to-do lists, I love lists, I love order. So this is the best framework that I have seen, but not only me, it took five years and 193 countries to decide what were going to be the steps that were necessary to be able to do three main things. Um, extr eradicate extreme poverty and we just know that we're going to be the first generation ever that can eradicate extreme poverty from the face of earth uh, but we're also the last generation that will be able to stop uh, and mitigate the impact of climate change in our planet before it's too late and the third one which is my favorite is that we're going to be able to do it for all not only for the few and so five years took uh, to come up with the steps that were needed and the goals and the indicators. So yes, 17 is an odd number. And it was launched in 2015 with 169 indicators so that we are able to measure them. And definitely this is the most historic treaty that I have at uh, the world has seen it, like at least in 200 or 300 years. And this is the plan that we have. This is the master plan for the future of the people on its planet. But not only, not only that, like there's, a, there's no plan B, but there's no planet B either. So we just have to be conscious that the world needs to talk, needs to know what the rights, uh, what the right, you and I need to know that we have the right for education, that we have the right to be healthy, to be uh, treated, mm -hmm. to go to a hospital and be able to, to be taken care, uh, that you're gonna be able to be safe. Those are our rights. Uh, Ligia, uh, those are just, sorry, it's like, Ligia, por favor, uh, those are our rights. Uh, this is like the, the, the ad, right? Like, remember when there was the BBC interview and <laughs> the kid was coming, the man was trying to, yeah. Um, and my favorite ones by, by far is, is, it would be impossible. I'm like, I have a bias for education because that's literally where I feel the beginning and at the end um, are. I would love to talk about like xenophobia, racism, and actually treating each other as a human family as my number two. But in reality, it's, that it's interconnected. You can't say, you know, like you really cannot say that when one organ of your body is not working right. well, uh, it's not only your head that works. Really, you, you can't function when you have a headache. You can't function if you know, like if, if something hurts. So everything is interconnected. For some people, some areas are more important than others. And uh, the only thing I'm saying is, for me, this is really exciting because it's the master plan of the world. And being able today to launch a horizontal platform where people like you and I are going to be able to see the stories of the champions that are making progress, the people that are trying to make a difference and, 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 and it doesn't have to be this. You don't have to be a CEO of a company or a government or, or from an NGO and the head of UNICEF to make a difference. The stories that we're highlighting are from the people that you want to know uh, that it's possible to do those things. We can, and you will see 
um, but you but it's important to know that there is progress and it's important to know that you can make a difference right. Well, and one of the things that I find interesting, if you go to the Global Goals, the SDGs um, website, the tagline that they share is that the goals are only going to work if we fight for them, and all we need you to do is share. And I think that that might be a little bit simplistic, because we all do need to do something more, um, besides oh, just but, No, 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 but watch out, watch out, watch out. I agree, but that's exactly what we're going to be doing in every episode we're going and and this is a, a this is a fundamental issue here one is we need to we need to know that there is in 30 minutes we're going to be able to tell you what is the situation about that issue uh we're going to give you three things that you can be very smart about so that you got like or like oh yeah yeah mother in law look what i found so we're going to give you show of facts and figures but the most important part is actions and yeah. some very concrete actions that you're going to be able to take, that you're going to be able to take if you're a company. Or, and we have, we're blessed with the partnerships of this, partner, of, of this podcast, but one of them is the action button. Is Bono, the singer Bono's daughter, is our partner. And she's giving us, she's actually providing all the actions for every single one of the episodes that we have. Because a lot of the times when you're listening to news, like and then you know like and trust me the trend is that people are showing shutting down and showing showing off and saying like i i can't take this news anymore this is this is well beyond uh what i re can relate to and mm -hmm. overall i don't want to listen to that anymore but in case that you know like you there's something that triggers your attention it's very hard to know um what to do uh yeah. what can i do about it so action button does that and they insert themselves into into conversations like ours, not only, you know, like with, with big media organizations and so on, to say like, now do you feel compelled to do something about it? Here's what you can do. And that's exactly what we're gonna be doing. Yeah. Well, and I like that in each of the episodes I had a chance to listen to a couple of them before. Oh, really? Yes, and they're wonderful. Do you? Do you sneak like peek. I had a sneak peek. Um, <laughs> What I like that you can hear them. Everybody can hear them today. Yes, that's so good. And I will put up. This is a uh, a link. If anyone wants to go, um, you can subscribe to the podcast. The thing that I love about the podcast is that you and Edie share people's stories, and you let them speak. It's their story in their voice. And even more than that, with those action steps, it does allow us to become more educated. Even yeah. even if it's just a conversation with someone in the elevator to be able to be that much more educated and aware. I think that's really important. Um, one of the questions that I have, I'm looking, I printed them off, and I've, so I've got all of the global goals. Yeah. Um, there's 17 of them, but then yeah. even inside of the 17, some of them have five sub-goals, some of them have as many as 15 sub-goals. Do you think that any of them are closer than others to being reached? And the goal is 2030, so we've got 12 years left. Yeah, and look, and that's, and, and, and it depends on where, right? They're like, every year there is a, let me just like give you the short answer and not the bureaucratic answer. I, I saw the bureaucrat in me coming out, my UN person coming out and say like, well, look, there's a geographic <laughs> typology and, yeah. um, and every year we have a mechanism. But in reality is that we are advancing really, really well and we have to keep on the pace with girls. Yeah. Girls, uh, we are making progress on a number of fronts there. Like we're advancing in terms of understanding girls. Data is magnificent. And we didn't even know, you know, like what was the girl situation really? Because we didn't have the data to be able to count on what, whether girls were going to school or not. Yeah. Um, maternal mortality is going to come in a convergence uh, uh, to a convergence between developing and developed countries and that's fabulous that means that in the past in 2000 the gap if you see this the gap between a rich country you were in a rich country the chances that you would actually leave if you had a baby were high, were high and if you were in a poor country the chances that you die were high right. now um, you know like now the, the developed countries is, is, is coming to coming to a convergence point, and by 2030, I think that we are going to be able to have reduced maternal mortality to rates that are just beyond, um, you know, like, uh, believable. So we're, we're, I, I think that that's an area where we're going to keep on going. Um, health 
is in some instances an area where we're get, we're making great progress in a number of parts. Yeah. I um when I when I think of the number of people on AIDS treatment yeah. and uh, you know like HIV AIDS is probably going to come to a place where it's possible to control it and, and nail it in terms of uh, mother to child transmission. I am very excited as a, in the progress of malaria. Malaria is amazing as well. So it's not it's not that we can, it's all like, you can't say, yeah, we've, we've pushed so far right now. So before coming to the peak, you want to, you, you don't want to give in when you're almost there. This is the moment in which you have to accelerate. But yes, progress is happening. And, uh, and, and, and in some instances, I think that we're going to be able to make the goals. It's, it's hard to generalize, but it's, it's important that, uh, that we realize this is working. It's yeah. working. The plan is working. What would you say for the people that are watching that say, now, Claudia, I think that this is all fantastic, but our family moves every one to two years and we cannot get ourselves involved with something like this. We can't impact change because we're never in one place long enough. What would you say? Oh, right. So again, <laughs> listen, when I, when we're like so open about like, please subscribe to this podcast as a way for you to be able to contribute this because I've been working in the United Nations for 15 years, if not more. I know that what really, really shapes behavior and community change is when you become an act, when you have a group of advocates, when you all of a sudden, instead of being a citizen, you're an advocate, the, the, it's a whole different story. And I think that by getting people to understand these issues and to absorb their rights, you're going to be giving people the tool to say, like, I have a measuring stick here. It's not about the goals. It's not about the UN. It's not about the podcast. It's about the rights of every single citizen out there that by knowing what they are, they can actually come and say, like, I'm going to put pressure on my government. I have the right to all of this. This is what my rights are this is what they promise to do they they should stop fighting and doing nonsense stop and then just like going to delivering to citizens what the social contract you know like suggested and and then the other thing is that you, by by knowing what your rights are mm -hmm. you also have a high degree of rate of conversion in your behaviors if you know that Climate change, it's all of a sudden you just get it, right? Like from the awareness and you become like, I'm going to do something about this. I promise you that next time that you go to a Starbucks, you might say like, you know, I'm going to buy a permanent cup. I'm not going to be using plastic cups all the time. You know what? In case, in case I can, I, I, I will actually use the revolving door as opposed to the other door. You know what? If I have the choice, I will choose to be the best me for the for me and for the world so that's why it matters and so it doesn't matter where you are disseminating information and getting people to understand and talk about this is by far more important than we think mm -hmm. and the conversion between listening and being embedded and that's why i love podcasts so much because it's so close to you yeah. it's as close is there's the television is out there the te the phone is right here the podcast is right here with you with your soul with your so having the conversion rate between, um, you know, like listening to advocacy to behavior is high, a high rate. Well, and I think that one of the things that makes the podcast so special, and that's if you're joining us just late, it's Global Goals Cast and the link to subscribe, which they're launching today. So it's so exciting to have Claudia on with us. But the beauty of a podcast also is it is so easily shareable. So if one of the future episodes really resonates with someone, Perhaps it's the father-son interview that you did. Oh, yes. Oh. So I want to talk to you about, yeah. I want to talk to you about. So today we're launching with, um, just let me, I, I just got thinking. It doesn't matter if you're uh, in one place or the other, if you're moving on the contrary. If you're, um, you can be a good citizen as long as you know what good citizen, what the to-do list is. Mm would have tell me tell me something you tell me something um if you would know the five things that you should do as a good citizen wouldn't you try to do that oh yeah and and yeah. I like wouldn't it be easy if you would know that a company is better than another when you make your consumer choices absolutely like if i tell you this bank has a great heart and is doing great stuff and this one actually is 
charging a lot for refugees and so on. Would you, would it make your choice easier? Yeah, absolutely. And not only would it make my choice easier, but then it educates me and has plants that little seed in me so that I can also share the same knowledge. Um, with yeah, them. exactly. Exactly. So I just wanted to say, no, it's, it's actually, it's, it's it, geography. It's almost like working remotely is as efficient as, you know, like everybody has a role to play. And the, the action I would like to ask your audience and everybody subscribe, subscribe to the Global Goals Cast because we have, you know, like I, I have been entrusted the confidence of 12 United Nations organizations. They trust, they have put their trust on me to get as many hearts and minds of people to be able to deliver the message, the messages that we that 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 matter the most of you know, like for the world, which are our planet and education. So I want to talk to you about that. But uh, so yes, please subscribe. And that's the one thing that I I think it's not like a like on Facebook where it's a fake citizen action. Right. This is really a different. This is an elevated engagement series. So I I I, I really am happy to have that. Now let me tell you today. We launched three episodes. The episode on education and girl that talks um, about a, a magnificent set of examples about how the youth is taking education in their hands. Uh, edu <laughs> uh, taking action, and they're not going to wait for anybody. And that's Brenda's story, right? Brenda from Google? Actually, Brenda from Google is fantastic. It's a migration. So we have Brenda okay, from right. Google migration, who's a Hispanic who came to study here and she got an internship in Google. She worked her butt off to, to be able to get there. She worked in, in Google and now Google wants to hire her regardless of her legal status or not. And if she cannot work in America, then she will go to another place like Canada or, but we, in that episode, we also have the latest facts and figures that I didn't even know about. Uh, from migration because they just like fresh from the oven um, from from the Global Compact for Migration Summit. So it's a really good way to understand migration from a personal story to also the overarching situation of migration, which happens to be um, going to continue growing and probably the political um, issue most important for 2018. The education and education and girls I love because it demonstrates how uh, we have a long way to go, but education in girls is is really making a lot of progress. If visually you would put um, a classroom in, two, in 1950, you would have no girls. If you would put it in 2000, you would put, you know, like one of the lines would be girls. And then you're you, can, you can actually see how, you know, like it's going to be full. The classroom by 2030 can be full. Yeah girls can be really have the capacity of the 50% of the class to be girls. So we're talking about like how to get there, the progress that we need to make, but also the story of uh, two teenagers that found a girl in India that had no dreams. She never knew about a dream. She never thought that she could have a dream. And we're celebrating her, Preti, from India, who is going to college now, thanks to these two other teenagers that started a new company called Nalu, in order to provide uniforms for those people that needed that uniform as part of their, um, obliga it's an obligatory, uh, obligatory thing in countries, British, former British, uh, British colonies yeah. that have that uh, stupid legislation of having uniforms for everybody when they, uh, when they cannot afford them. And so that's the uh, migration and education uh, podcast. And now next week we're launching the two explorers, Robert and Fa Robert and Barney Swan, father and son, that yesterday amazing the South Pole, and we have the story, we have the exclusive, we've been following them, we equipped them, they came and podcasted, you know, like all their way through, and they're coming to Davos with us, they are on their way up, you know, like from the South Pole to Davos, as Edie would say, they don't need to change their outfits too much, which is good, and <laughs> it's weird. an incredible story, 60 days, 600 miles, only on renewable energy, father and son, just to make the point that if you can survive in Antarctica for 60 days with renewables, yeah. uh, you can do anywhere. And just to also see firsthand how Antarctica is melting, mm -hmm. how climate is happening, how we need to do something about it, how everybody has to do something about it. 
And so that's happening on the 21st of January. Perfect. So how many episodes are live now currently as of today? I was just going to go. So we have migration. We have the sustainable development goals as a, just like as an intro. What, what are they? Why, why, why am I obsessed about them? And uh, then we have, <laughs> then we have education and migration. Okay. Yep. I just pulled them up. They're all there. It's so exciting. Yes. The world is on the move. And if you guys have not listened to these yet, the, the migration one is astounding. There's so many stats that I wasn't aware of. Even there's stats around what um, the amount of money that migrants send back home. The remittance. Oh, Isn't it crazy? Amazing. Is it yeah. crazy? It's, it's crazy. like one third, it, like three times more than foreign aid combined in the world. It's just insane. It is insane. Like when Migrants, migrants would show, should go, go, go home, and I'm like, yeah, who's gonna pay for the foreign aid? You know, who's gonna send money to the other countries? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really it's good. Cool. Yeah, yeah. So we are gonna have to wrap up because I promised we would only do 30 minutes. Um, I will be sharing the link to the global goals so that everyone who's not familiar can, you can actually just link it to the global goals cast because we have them. Oh, good. Side. Yeah, we have them in our site. And if you if you are interested to know more about each of the different things, say that your heart, you know, like goes for um, climate change or life uh, life on the planet or life under the ocean. You just click on there, and we we have a link to everything that you need to know and you could know about. Our website will also tell you what actions you can take and the latest data. We have an incredible set of partners, and I think that I want to end on that note. We not only have the trust of the United Nations uh, and a number of non for uh, non for profits mm -hmm. like Rollback Malaria and the uh, trust of uh, the uh, Project Everyone and the Public Foundation and blah blah. blah. We have, I mean, but also we're going to be distributed by CBS News Digital, um, but we have really interesting data partners. Uh, our data partners are SAS and Cultural Intelligence, and they are the geeks of data. They are the ones that are going to be providing people like me yeah. they to play around. Like, so what about millennials? What do they think about climate change? And what about this? And what about that? So go to our website if you're, um, if you're interested. If, you're, if there's a geek in you that wants to play with data, we have all the data uh, ready to go for you. Fabulous. Well, and I think it's important, like you were saying at the beginning, Claudia, it's so important for us to just know, to know more. Um, I was just looking through the, Google, the SGDs, include things like having safe and inclusive cities, um, ensuring water and sanitation. So there's probably, yeah, there's going to be something in one of the SGDs that applies to you or that really um, resonates with you or that hurts, or that hits your heart. So I would encourage everyone to go to, what is your website, Claudia? Globalgoalscast.org. Awesome. I'm just going to type that really quick and put that up. Um, I would encourage everyone to visit the website. Um, it's it's going to be something that you can learn, uh, use the resources, and then subscribe to the podcast. It's going to be fantastic. Do you have You're any amazing? Thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have anything else you'd like to share? No, I just want to say. Thanks so much for this opportunity. Subscribe and give us rates. This is not about us. This is about, you know, like this is a collective effort. The more people know, the more we're going to have our rights fulfilled. So please share, please rate, and, and just go ahead and don't hesitate in sharing it with different people. Thank you so yeah. much. Absolutely. Claudia, thank you so much. Have a really good launch day, and um, we'll see you in the podcast. Yes, absolutely. Thank Bye. you for the opportunity. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Imagine waking up to a valley of uncompromised beauty and splendor. All we have in life are moments. Moments to watch the sun rise and caress the mountains in which you live with warmth. Moments to fill the air with the sounds of songbirds. The property of 205 Red Devil in Haley, Idaho is a blank canvas to make all of your moments come together. 
This property is an